Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is the Beko washing machine, WTG741M1W. It's got a door seal that's flapping off. I don't know why, but uh, let's sort that out. I'm hoping a couple of flat bladed screwdrivers will be enough to deal with this. If you reach around, there's a piece of wire and it's held in with a spring. If you can find the spring, and in this case, it's down here. And get the spring and just hook your screwdriver over it. It should come off. I'm gonna give that a clean. Give that a clean. You don't need to clean it, it's just for my own satisfaction. What I'm gonna do is peel this off all the way around, tuck it in, and give the metal a clean. Again, completely unnecessary. But where it was hanging off, it is a bit dirty, so do that, give it a dry. Fold the fold the towel in so that it gets a gets an effect. And then with the dry towel, I'll just reach in and dust off the inside. You can see there's a bit of dirt there, but nothing nothing major. Nothing major. Same thing on this rubber. Just give it a bit of a, a bit of a wipe and a bit of a dry. I'm not sure why that rubber would have come off like that. It's quite peculiar. And the bit I want to try and get is the groove that the the wire sits in. washing machines and all, they're normally quite dirty inside with dust and stuff and bits of motor brush dust and whatnot. Just work it in. And then dry it off. If you were replacing the door seal, you would need to get in to get the front off the machine to get in further inside to be able to deal with it where it's attached to the tub, but we're not doing that here. So then once you've got it clean and dry, it doesn't even have to be dry, it slips on better if it's a bit damp. Just wrap it on. So it's like getting a tire onto a, onto a rim, I guess that's how I would describe it. You get it on, you work it around. This one's not perfect because it's been deformed where that was where it was hanging off before. Just have to be mindful of that. Now it's held on as it is, but it's just not perfect up on here and over at the door lock. So if I take that spring and put it to there, but begin up here because this is where it needs the help to sit properly. So I'll start it up there and bring it around the top down the side, pull it around so that it's protected here where the spring is meant to sit and come back up here. I might find it easier to demonstrate it if I have my knee up against it or a third hand if you had a, an accomplice. So I need to keep this spring here in position. Screwdriver there against my knee, holding that in, and then over here, just ease it on with the screwdriver and my hand. That screwdriver's fallen down, so I hope it doesn't snap off. There we go, one more. It's actually worked quite nicely. So you can see there a little flip, a little fold, and another one down here just beyond the door lock. But it's held on correctly now. 
and you can see it's making good contact all around which is excellent 